Mamie, and she's gotten a complete overhaul tonight. Maybe. Mamie. 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 Yeah, what is it, a 39-year broken kneecap? I was going to say, <laughs> may I thought you said maybe. I was like, maybe you got healed. Maybe. <laughs> You, Mamie, you got healed. Yes. I was uh, in high school in sports, and I broke my kneecap. My doctor didn't he fix it, and I've been walking around for 39 years with a broken kneecap that fused together. And it, I, I can bend this far down without any pain or grinding now, and I, before I'd have to hang on to something. Wait, wait, uh, so before, before when? Before tonight? Yeah, before tonight, I'd have to hang you on to, to that podium on to, to get bend down, down like yeah, that. Yeah. And show because me what you can do now. I can do this. Oh, and no it pain. Hurt. No pain. And for 39 years, it would 39 hurt if you years, did that. It would kill me. It would kill you. Yeah. Listen to this. 39 <laughs> years. Alan, listen to this. After 39 years, she's had a fused kneecap. She's had pain when she's bent like this. She couldn't bend without holding on. Just do that again, Mamie. No pain. After 39 years, I told you the Lord was touching knees. Hey, and last night, we had 78, a 78-year-old 78 man receive healing in his ear. Let me tell you something. God wants to heal you no matter your age. Don't settle for it. Ask God to release his healing power. So you just to your knee, but you said you got more, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've been totally healed of ulcerated colitis that I got 10 years ago. And my daughter started praying over me 10 years, years ago, but last night and today I have had no aggravation in my colon at all. No, and, and that it, would be normal for it, 10 years. Yeah, for 10 years I would just be aggravated all day in the colon area and just afraid to go anywhere because I need to be near the restrooms. And I haven't had to hardly go to the restroom. I'm sorry, it's kind of a gross subject, but... It's a glorious subject because yeah. God made your body to work right, and today it works right yes. again. And I've been begging and praying and, and throwing fits to God, but I had to come here to uh, reacquaint myself with my faith in, in the way that I've always known since I was 11 years old. So you know that the Lord wants to heal people in this room tonight. I know for a fact he wants to heal and we don't need the, the medicine that the, the man has made out there, the pharmaceuticals. We just need God. Hallelujah. Hey, He's right now, Wes, physician. I believe it. She's going to pray. People are going to get healed. Healings are popping as people who give testimonies are praying. Here's another migraine headache. She has we one had one more. prayed for she got completely healed. She has one more testimony. Oh, one more testimony. So that's tw two things. Now you got another thing. Um, so that was 10 years of colitis, 39 years you haven't been able to bend down because your knee was fused. Mm -hmm. What's the other one? For 25 years, I've had tinnitus in the ear. My ear rings, and, I, and it was getting worse where I just hardly can hear because of the tones in my ears. And... Now I'm, I'm quite sure I'm at 75 to 80 percent healing because it's low tones now, and I'm feeling I, I, I have better hearing. Well, Lord, I just ask you for 100 percent. God, I ask you, you did 75, you can do 100, Lord. You want to heal this lady to glorify your son. Listen, what you're seeing today, if you walked in here tonight and you wonder what in the world is going on, these people are going crazy. How come people are getting healed? Here's what, the, what is going on here. The Lord Jesus is alive. The Lord Jesus Christ, who yeah. came from heaven, became a man, died on the cross, rose again. He destroyed the power of sickness and the power of sin. And his right. power and authority is being demonstrated right. today because he wants you to believe that he is the risen Lord and he is coming to rule the earth and judge all mankind. So if you do not know Jesus today, I want to encourage you, call upon the name of the Lord that you might be saved. Right now, Wes, we are having so many people receiving healing. They're lined up. We can't get them all up here. Right now, if you need healing, some of you in this room are going, well, my sickness, my infirmities, not as bad as someone else who of those other instances that got called out. 
He does not deplete any of his power to heal the big stuff and the little stuff. He can do it all at the same time. Right now, if you need to be healed, stand up right where you're at. There's The Lord is releasing healing power. We have backs. We have knees. We have migraines. We had right here another knee healed. Backs are popping. Father, in the name of Jesus, release your power all over this room. From the smallest to the greatest need, in Jesus' name. Heart conditions and acid reflux, in Jesus' name, be healed. Lori Ditto, the power of God is coming on you right now. He's releasing his healing power on your body right now. In the name of Jesus, we speak to every sickness and every condition, and we command healing to that body and restoration, in Jesus' name. Just release your fire upon her right now, in the name of Jesus. Mamie, I want you to pray right now. I want you to ask the Lord just to release his power on needs, on, on digestive conditions, on his. Listen, that's getting even better right now, your ear, right now. Yes, it it's is. More, it's more than 75% I mean, right I now. I bet it's probably 90%. <laughs> yeah. It's gone to 90% now, her ear as well. So, so Lord, just release that final 10% in Jesus' name. Well, you just pray, Mamie. I want you to pray with faith because you believe the Lord wants to heal others of the same things, don't you? Our most gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to be here in, in this house of, of the Lord. Lord, I just ask that you heal everyone in this room, that no one in this room walks out without being healed of something. Because you are the greatest physician, and we believe that you will heal us. We believe you must believe. In Jesus' name, be healed. In Jesus' name, and just fill her, God. And touch her, Lord. Oh, you're going to testify, Mamie. I know who those young women are, but you're going to tell young women about the Lord Jesus. And you're going to release faith in them, and you're going to see them come to faith in Jesus. Because he's given you an overhaul in body, mind, and spirit today. Thank you, Lord. 